Dear students, today we shall start the new topics. Uh, new topics is conformal mapping. The conformal mapping, conformal transformation. The transformer. Before discussing conformal transformation, first we have to know transformation. What is transformation? We know in case of z, z equal to x plus i y in complex number z equal to x plus i y. And W equal to Fz, Fz equal to U plus IV. We know this. In this is in Z plane we get X and Y and W plane we get UV. So suppose one figure is given in Z plane. What will be the figure in W plane? So we have to discuss, we shall discuss this type of problem. If one figure is given in Z plane, what will be the figure in W plane? Z plane is X comma Y and W plane is U comma V. Now our discussion is what is the transform? We get one transform, one figure given in Z plane. We get another figure in, in W plane. Ultimately figure will be changed. What will be changed? This is our main discussion. First we consider definition of transformation. For every point x comma y in z plane, so this is z, z equal x plus i y. This x plus i y we can write x comma y, and u v we can write u comma v. We can write in this way. So given for every point x comma y in the z plane, the relation w equal to f z defines a corresponding point u comma v. In the W plane, U comma V in the W plane, this. So we call this transformation or mapping of Z plane into W plane. This is called transformation or mapping of Z plane into W plane. If a point Z naught maps into the point W naught, Z naught maps into the point W naught. W naught is also known as the image of Z naught. This one, image of Z naught. If the point P X Y moves along a curve C in Z plane, the point P dash U comma V will move along a corresponding curve C dash in the W plane. Then we say that a curve C in the Z plane is mapped into the corresponding curve C dash in the W plane by the relation W equal to Fz. So this is our transformation. So we get Fz equal to something is given, we find W equal to U, Z equal to X plus I Y in something given and we find W equal to U V, U comma V. So what will be the sense? This is our transformation. Next, now we consider one problem. So let us consider one example. Transform the rectangular region ABCD in Z plane bounded by x equal to 1, x equal to 3, y equal to 0, y equal to 3. Under the transformation W equal to Z plus 2 plus i. Now this is our W given. Now these are the values of XY given. XY means this are Z plane and W plane is this. Now what will be the transformation? Original figure is ABCD. What will be the new figure? New transformation we have to find this. So here Z equal to uh, W equal to given Z plus 2 plus I. We know Z equal to X plus I Y and this is 2 plus I. And W equal to U plus I V we know this. So U plus IV and we taking real real together. This is real, this is real and I common, this is imaginary, this is imaginary, Y plus 1, this is together. On equating, on equating real and imaginary parts we get, what we get, if we equating real and imaginary, but this is real, this is real. This is imaginary, this is imaginary. 
so real equal to real and imaginary equal to imaginary this one this u equal to this and this equal to this i i cancel we get this one now we construct a table this is the u u is x plus 2 v equal to y plus 1 now we construct a table so we construct this table so we construct a table uh, this is our table uh, this table is this is z plane we write this is z plane this is w plane this is z plane z plane and this is w plane in z plane we consider this is the value of x and w plane we consider u u is what is u x plus 2 and w plane z plane this is we consider y and w plane we consider uh, v v equal to y plus 1 so in the value of x the value of x given 1 and 3 1 and 3 given so we putting 1 and 3 the values of y 0 and 3 so this is 0 and 3 now if we putting x equal to 1 here then x equal to 1 here then we get 1 plus 2 equal to 3 we get and x equal to 3 putting then 3 plus 2 we get 5 and here also putting 0 then we get 0 plus 1 equal to 1 putting 3 3 plus 1 equal to 4 we get these are the values of x y given x y given we find u and v these are the values now we write this here 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 the lines the lines are x equal to 1 x equal to 3 y equal to 0 and y equal to 3 these are the lines x equal to uh, x equal to 1 x equal to 3 y equal to 0 y equal to y equal to 3 we get these are the lines in the z plane these are in z plane we get this z plane r transform are transformed into are transformed into the into the line u equal to uh, u equal to 3 we get u equal to 5 we get so u equal to 3 u equal to 5 v equal to we get v equal to we get 1 and v equal to 4 v equal to 1 and v equal to 4 these are in the w plane in the w plane so these are the lines in in z plane and these are in w plane the region A, B, C, D. This is A, B, C, D. In A, B, C, D, the region A, B, C, D in Z plane in Z plane is transformed is transformed is transformed the region A, B, C, D in Z plane is transformed uh, into the region E suppose E, F, G, S E, F, G, S in W plane 
now you want to draw the figure now we want to do we want to draw the figure this first line given x equal to 1 x equal to 3 y equal to 0 y equal to 3 y equal to 0 means x axis we know y equal to 0 this x axis this is y equal to 0 this is y equal to 0 next line x equal to 1 x equal to 1 this is x equal to 1 uh, x equal to 1 x equal to 3 this line is this is x equal to 1 and this is x equal to 3 and next given y equal to 3 this line is y equal to 3 so y equal to 0 means x axis x equal to 1 this line and x equal to 3 this line so this is our first figure we get by the help of given values the first figure we get this one next second figure u equal to 3 u equal to 5 v equal to 1 v equal to 4 first v equal to 1 v v means u equal to 3 means this is 3 so this is our u this is u u equal to 3 this one and u equal to 5 this is 5 u equal to 5 this one and v equal to 1 v equal to 4 so this is v equal to 1 v equal to 4 so this is the next figure so this is our next figure so initially uh, x the value of x and y given z w not given w given a relation we convert another values so after calculation this is the figure of first for z plane this is for z plane and this is for w plane there are different figures this is the transform figure of this so this is transform figure of this this one a b c d and this is e f g is so this is our uh, solution of the given problem so just one figure given from one figure we get another figure because one condition also given from this condition we can solve any problems so this is our transformation this is called transformer this one image of this so this is in z plane and this is in w plane so this is our complete solution so today is stop here. Next video we shall discuss another uh, problem, same types of problem. So all of these are very easy. So today is stop here. Thanks.